Hey guys. <laughs> so, um, thought I should wear my, my, uh, representing the feds hat. <laughs> so, let me tell you something. I had an email from Ray Higdon. And I don't know if you know who he is, but he's a network marketing kind of guru guy. And, um, and I follow him and I really like his, his method, his style, whatever. And um, if you're part of any kind of uh, direct selling company, or even if you're not, I'm sure that there are special pages for like, you know, realtors or um, I don't know, you know, think of think of Linktree or, or whatever, <clears throat> as far as, you know, trying to, to stay on top of current events in your industry, right? Well, I have my own group that um, with this business that I had started back in November and I received information about updates that the FTC has come up with uh, because of the, the coronavirus. So this is my thing guys. I, you know that I always joke about the disclaimers but I still make them because legally we are obligated to do so, right? Well, apparently they are tweaking what we are allowed to say and not say because the bulk of it is they think you guys are too stupid to figure it out. That's the way I look at it. Like, yeah, I can give you a disclaimer and supposedly I have to say it like multiple times because, you know, you know, if you get sidetracked and squirrel, you didn't hear Lisa say it this time, you, maybe she'll you know, catch it the next time. And uh, I think that's a little excessive. And I would like to give you guys all the benefit of the doubt that you would actually like to um, dig a little deeper into whatever nonsense I am spewing at the time. So if you want real um, information or, or testimonial about something, there is going to be real data that I can give you. Like... I don't take my word for, you know, or not my word. <laughs> I take my word all the time. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I want to try something and make my own conclusion of um, whether I think it's something that will work for me or not. Um, even if it's like, you know, when we had our windows replaced, did I go with the first company the first time? Um, no. No. I had like probably six estimates and part of it was like, okay, which person rubs me the wrong way? Which person um, did I think was, was honest with me? Cause that's huge, huge for me. Like honesty is the main thing. I want to work with, with somebody that I think isn't just going to tell me what I want to hear. Um, and then obviously like company reputation. So, um, you know, part of it, as far as the disclaimer goes is, about um, the whole COVID thing. So, and I, I'm on their site right now. I have it up, pulled up on my, um, my laptop here. And there are companies that I recognize and some that I've even bought some products from. But apparently they are going out and acting like their products um, can cure you of certain ailments. And we never say that what we have is going to help you with this. It might, and it might not. Everybody is different, and it's it's a supplement. Like, we've always said, like, you know, make sure you talk to your healthcare professional. Even when I have my little healthcare jacket on, that doesn't make me a, a medical professional. It makes me a goofball that likes to pretend that she's a medical professional. So, um, and then on the flip side, um, you know, people are struggling with um, making ends meet and we know that the jobs are, um, you know, if they're going back, they're not going back to full capacity or um, they're just, you know, coming in stages and, and, you know, maybe that extra money is going to run out or whatever, you know, whatever the thing is, it's like, you know, you can't just magically tell somebody like, Oh, you know, sign up with such and such company. I don't care what it is. Any company, 
you can't just sign up on the dotted line and just think that all this money is going to come pouring in. Just like if you walk into, you know, you decide to be a waitress at, you know, Texas Roadhouse or wherever, that doesn't mean like, oh, you're going to, you know, make X amount of dollars. It's, it's commission based. It's like, you know, are you a crappy waitress? Well, guess what? If you suck at it and people don't like you, your tips are not going to be as great as the person that has got uber personality just oozing out of them and that their customers start asking to sit in their section because they think you're fun to be around. You know, I mean, it's just like common sense, guys. And I feel like my audience um, is smarter than what the government thinks that they are. Like, I feel like you have enough sense to realize that hey, if I start a new opportunity, whether it be my own business or even working somewhere else, I mean, the only time somebody can guarantee a certain amount of money is if it's not a commission-based business. So at one time, um, Kevin worked for um, Dodge trying to sell vehicles and he had never sold anything. Well, that would be like them going, him going in and they're saying like, oh, you are gonna make you know $50,000 a month because, you know, Mike, you know, Joe Cool over here or whatever has, um, you know, been with selling cars since, you know, he was 18 years old and um, it happens to be his daddy's <laughs> dealership or something. You know, it's just like you can't compare a new guy that's never had um, any background on sales to somebody who's been killing it. You know for the last five years but they've been in the industry for 15 years or whatever like you cannot ever the only thing you can ever guarantee when it comes to income is if you have a salary if you go in or you have an hourly job hey hey Becky we're gonna um, start you at $15 an hour and you know every three months um, during the first year you get reviews to see how you're doing blah 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 and at the end of um, what you know you get increments whatever it is you know I'm just spewing stuff out of my mouth right now because I'm just like ah. <laughs> it's just like come on guys you know like if it's a commission-based industry of any sort the only thing they can tell you that you are gonna get is if there's a base salary then they can you know guarantee the earnings now they can tell you like well because they have paperwork they can say that, you know, our average, um, you know, life insurance guy sells, you know, earns a commission of such and such a month. But even with that being said, you have to consider a person just starting out and a person that has been in the business for a while. And, um, and again, like, I think you guys are smart enough to know that. Just like I think you guys are smart enough to know that if I say... Oh my God, this lavender ice has been a miracle for me. Um, and I say that it helps with my headache. What else did I say? I also said that like I have to catch it at the beginning. I also said that when my goofball butt I put it too close to my eyes, I, it was watering because duh, there's peppermint in there and it's gonna, you know, like I will always, always, always be honest with you guys. And I guess what's happening out there is that, um, not everybody is honest, you know, which of course I know that. Um, but the problem is, is the feds are fed up and they, there's like this huge, there's this huge list and I'm looking at it, you know, of people that are making false or exaggerated claims. And, um, I just want you guys to know that that's why I have to be compliant. And that's why I always, even though I kid about it, that I have to do the disclaimer. So if you're catching this video and you are in direct sales of any kind, because it's not just um, health and wellness from what I'm seeing on here, there's other companies making disclaimers. So um, please, please be careful. Be careful about how you post, what you're saying. I mean, if you would read this, <laughs> if you would read these updates, I mean, I was shaking my head like, really? Are you, are you kidding me right now? So um, I just thought I should come to you guys and let you know that I don't think you're as dumb as they think you are. And then if you have any questions, please 
um, feel free to always reach out to me and I will point you in the right direction and um, I will never tell you that I am making $50,000 a month if I'm not. <laughs> And I will not tell you that something worked for me if it didn't um, because I just, you know, what is the point? I would hate to tell somebody um, and mislead them um, because I can tell you right now, I work hard. I mean, I know that, yeah, it might be somebody's different version of, of working hard, but um, like last night, I answered... Um, a text on a Sunday night at, at 10 o'clock at night. Um, I didn't have to do that, but I chose to do that because I'm working my business. Anybody that has their own business is working hard to get where they are. It's not some magical, you know, solution that, hey, I signed up with XYZ and now, oh my God, all this money is just pouring in, all these online orders and I don't have to do anything and everything is done for me and look. They're lying. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm calling BS. Nobody I know has ever made money by just sitting back and watching it happen. Nobody. I don't, I mean, believe me, I, I've seen a lot of uh, rainbows lately and can't seem to find the pot of gold at the end. <laughs> you know why? Because you got to work for it and it takes and if you have a um, uh, a business of any kind, um, especially if you have a brick and mortar and you're paying, you know, for all this overhead, it's going to take you even longer. But you have to um, you have to build any business. So please don't let anybody misguide you on um, you know some some magical pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that you just get all this money without putting in the effort um, because that's not real life, guys. And I know that you know that, but apparently the feds don't know that. So I'm here to make a disclaimer <laughs> that you need to do your research. And if you are in, um, you know, a network, because this one was specifically about, um, um, let me see. As I scroll, 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 do, 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 do. Eliminating false or misleading information from the marketplace is a key objective of the FTC. So, um, that's basically what they are, um, it's the Federal Trade Commission, just in case you don't know. But, um, but anyway, there's a, there's a plethora of, of companies listed on here. So, anyway, I just hope everybody... Stay safe, stay smart, stay healthy, um, you know, work for that positive mindset and, and, um, and we'll all be okay. It'll be okay. So if you get sick of my disclaimers, sorry, just, just turn me off. <laughs> That's all I can do. Hello, Ninja. Hello, baby. Arr, she's so cute. All right, everybody. Can you see? Can you see? Let me see. Can you see, Ninja? Come here. She likes her rubs. She likes her rubs for mama. She's such a spoiled brat. All right, everybody. Take care. And I'm sorry about my little rant, but I was just like, okay, I've heard it more than once. I'm going to hop online and, and see what they have to say. And, you know, who did they write warning letters to? And please, baby Jesus, not, don't let it be one of my companies. And don't let it be um, because I, I didn't, like, I forgot a day to make a disclaimer or something. But, I'm in the clear. <laughs> My company is not on the list. So, so um, I guess the, they uh, they either haven't noticed me yet or I really have been doing a good job of, of putting my disclaimers out there. So, anyway, I am going to go see about getting a, if it's not too hot out, a W-A-L-K in because I can't say the word because then they'll go crazy. So I have to, I have to go and see if it's, if it's cool enough. If not, I might have to wait till after dinner. So, um, anyway, enough of my rambling. <laughs> Take care everybody and I will see you soon. Bye.